Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. We've um, cleared the north, linked up with the Finns. We're on the gates of Moscow. Kharkov is taken, but uh, we have one final mission left here, which is the Crimea. It's October 18th, 1941. Manstein's 11th Army is finally able to give its undivided attention to capturing the Crimea. His task is made more difficult by the decision to strip his command of all mobile units for the impending attack on Rostov. For their part, the Soviet Soviets suffer from a split command structure and an incoherent defensive strategy. Their troops are a mix of regular formations, newly raised militia with barely any training, and veterans of the fighting at Odessa. And take one of these subjects will enable you to put strategic plan into action. That's Sevastopol. So we uh, we can actually take it uh, early here. That would. Uh, surely uh, benefit us now i believe that if you don't capture it here but don't pin me on this because i actually don't know 100 percent if you don't take it here you will um have another chance a little bit later on in i think after the next conference you'll get a uh, storming sevastopol mission where you basically only play a smaller portion of this map uh, but then it's zoomed in kind of like odessa Anyway, you must first storm the heavily defended isthmus of Perakop and the Eastern Lakes area. Soviet resistance will likely collapse once you move into the Crimea proper. If you move quickly, you may be able to stop Soviet reinforcements from landing at Sevastopol and Kerch, avoiding the need for a lengthy siege and freeing up troops for Rostov. As the Luftwaffe is busy at Moscow, the Russians will have total superiority initially. And... Uh Okay, there we go. We have Theodosia turn 13 and Yalta turn 16. Sevastopol, 20 and hold. We have to lose less than 16 steps. Krasnoparakovsk turn 6 as a bonus. Yevpatoria turn 10. Simferopol, 12 and Kerch, 19. So this is a major land bridge. We'll probably not be able to get through there, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. Either way, let's start here. Give these guys... Um, let's take away the artillery and give them the 21 centimeter and a pioneer. I know that um, these guys will not come back very likely. I also don't really think any of these will be there in the Rasa scenario. I think actually this is the uh, Sevastopol assault mission that they are talking about with this one here. But I still, I still think it's worth spending my points. Now, they actually have no additional reinforcements in terms of infantry. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get rid of one of these units, I think, almost entirely. Uh, at the very least, uh, we are... No. The problem is, is that they're both veterans now, so I actually kind of need to deploy those later than uh, than what it is currently. What I'll do though is I'll swap this, and I will. No, actually, there we go. And I can put this to seven. I'll take the stug. Put it here. And. You're also elite, so I'll give you... Oh, did I give, give the wrong artillery? Stug, and then you'll get the artillery. And because they're already elite, I can actually reinforce them as well with another unit. Now, because I do want to put more units in there after I've attacked, because I want them to get higher in veterancy, and before I dump those initial steps, I'm actually going to remove those two steps from them anyway. Um, and leave it like this. So I, I do want them to stay veteran, and then if they they actually do level up, then uh, then we'll be okay. Uh, same for you guys. Like I definitely want to provide those additional steps. Let's just get rid of them. There's no way I can attack with all of them at the same time, anyhow. Uh, what's going on here? Like, it does not really matter. However... I'll move them there for now. And... 
I will need a few um, faint attacks probably in that area, but we'll see. I don't really see why we do this differently, and I don't... Um, yeah, I can't actually cross there. There's no need for this unit to stay there. <clears throat> That's a bit weird. Anyway, let's uh, already dump at least one step on them, and I'll leave the rest of these guys. Seems like we'll get a bunch of reinforcements. I see if I can get there turn one. That, that's a bit unrealistic. Group Munta, Cavalry Group 8 for Romanians, and then we get a bunch of other units. Anyway, let's get started. Going in here already gets them to zero. But... Tagging like that is, is useless. It's still gonna be yeah okay great so in two <clears throat> I also have to care about my losses that is uh, important so there's that Won't be able to do pin attacks. Let's actually use one of the Heinkel 111s here. Let's still only be a 70% retreat. So even now that's not not gonna work. That's uh, it's not a, not amazing, but okay. Well, at least they uh, survived there. <clears throat> mhm. Mm Unsurprisingly, that's uh, pretty much stuck now. I would guess that uh, units with artillery are ultimately going to be better. So I'll just put it like this. We do have to rail line there and stuff. So all of them have no retreat. Funny.
How much movement do they sell? They move with one. They come with two more hexes. Overrunning them, in a sense, is, is inconsequential. And let's get those elite units in there again. It's um, a bit of a hassle, but uh, we'll get through, I hope. You're still at elite. I haven't actually done anything with these guys yet, but... Uh, I have nothing better to do. Might just as well do that. It gives me five experience. Does actually uh, help a little bit. And what else can you do? Nah, uh, they'll be they'll be useless. Okay, get a no retreat, but that's about it. Some cavalry groups, huh? But I won't be getting through there anyway, and it's not as if we can build pontoon bridges over through any of those other sides. So we literally have only this area to go through. Oh, should have moved the HQ. Well, we'll get it next turn. Okay, well, they only took one damage. Man, do you really have to have mud here right now? That's just unbelievable. It also means I'll have to take more losses. Hmm. Well, I will, uh, let's see, take them from you. Oh no, you're out of supply. And then next, uh, you'll be. Actually capable of moving in here. Let's do so. So we can take Krasnoparakops potentially on turn four. None of the other units can move out of there. So let's go here. Ultimately, it doesn't help that much, but let's strip these guys a little bit further. What I'll do is I'll actually move the cavalry up forward because um, once I break through here, I want to very quickly move further down. And if I can put the cavalry there at least, then that might hopefully happen. We've got a Siegler, still cannot deploy them. Interesting. So you can actually do that. Are they in supply? They still are, so it still does not matter. So that one experience, you know, I, I can forget about it. 
Supplies are fine. Well, that, that's good for me. Sweet. So I got another Heinkel 111 bomber. That's immediately put it to good use. To try and increase the odds a little bit. I also want to move along the railroad. Now, currently... I have no clue what kind of units they have around here. Okay. Cavalry as well. Cavalry in there also sure is interesting. We have to take this by turn 10. I could try to move in here, then force a uh, rather like a, a breakthrough or something. If I do that, how is their supply? They are cut off. Um, so that will improve my situation a little bit. Um, they have this pretty far down the road, so it's not as if I can uh, so just do whatever I feel like anyway. I have one more faint attack. Definitely not doing it with you. These guys are pretty dangerous. Uh, actually a bit concerned even. Um, let's just put a no retreat on you guys because I feel like they might counter in that department. Not 100% sure about these, but I'd rather just take no attacks whatsoever. Although, can I... Interesting that I actually cannot give you guys any step, but I can give it to these. I, I don't understand what I, I really don't get what the difference is like why would I not be able to give it to you but I can give it to you I have two infantry and a pioneer oh wow okay Well, let's put that to good use. Um, I do need to protect myself against them. Let's actually take a look. Because it seems I have a huge swath.
of forces. And uh, I do want to put the most powerful forward, so I need to kind of do it in a weird way. This is as good as you can get. Place it here for the moment. I'll remove that one. You're pretty much stationary at that point. It's because you still cannot get through. Uh, some Ferropool also is a turn 12. Now their operations is down. But I, uh, yeah, moving up is no use. I need to keep my units on the rail here. None of them can move forward. Pretty much the best I can do. Okay, still going to be a tricky turn. Luckily, I do have that artillery that makes them maybe less likely to attack. Interesting that patch. They still have very poor supply in that region. So contest it's probably better most of the tr time to try and kill them. Now at least they can stay their veteran status or keep their veteran status. For now. These two are the most important, and only after that will it be less. That doesn't add up, because these guys can now still technically become a problem.
reason why I want to do that is because I want them to remain out of supply. So that's why I'm kind of like flanking around, making sure that they'll be out of supply for two turns on the next one. Right, I need at the very least a unit on the supply hex, no doubt about that. In my book. Yeah, this should be okay. There's no way, I think, that they'll be able to get through there. All the way up here, I think. And even if they do... It still does not concern me. Now, uh, this is all minus one. Not necessarily the most beneficial, but I can try to deal dish damage to those two so they'll be out of supply. I've been pretty lucky with the enemy air attack so far. I'm uh, quite happy about those. Hmm. They've conveniently kept themselves there. I'm not particularly pleased by it. Interesting that I can use none of these units now to move up and take it. Yeah, so I will not have the rail line, so I might just as well do this. And you need to actually cut that rail line. So uh, they get supplies from that part that one hex there, sure. But it also means that for most of the other units, they'll be cut off. Yeah. If anything, I need to get rid of the enemies and they will be out of supply for three turns starting from the next one. I have up until turn 10, so... Yeah, 
This really sucks though, I have to say. This the fact that I cannot grab that on this turn is highly unfortunate. There's gonna come a moment where I need to remove that and put it further, probably on the next turn, but uh, currently I'm um, too much. Uh, Focused on getting there, okay. I really only need one unit to now deal with them. They'll be gone on the next turn anyway. these units are ultimately going to return so in terms of uh, experience it matters not even all that much If I cut them off, the uh, enemy will also no longer be able to get reinforcements in this area, uh, which will also be very useful. Okay. Let's send one guy over there. They'll be out of supply, so I'll be using my attacks on them. And hopefully I can beat them the next turn and then these guys can come out. That is the, the goal. I do need to capture Feodosia at turn 13, so moving along this line is also going to be very important. I'll send them further down south. Um, now, the railroad is going to be very important, but what I think is going to be even more important is moving down. Um, so I will send you over to this direction. I know I don't have the rail line right now, but I do have this that will help me for a while. Um, seems like I can manage for now just fine. One of the things that could be pretty interesting is, uh, Can I take that back? I cannot take it back. Are there, was there already a pontoon bridge? No, it has to be a visual bug. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is just a visual bug. Actually, might get them into supply. These guys will probably retreat back. 
Simferopol is a turn 12 too, so after this I really have to get there pretty quickly. I should leave them there for this turn. I'm a bit afraid of that cavalry, which likely will retreat. Wow, it uh, was bound to happen at some point. Not really any surprises there, but uh, it does mean as well. I cannot pump any units in there. Okay. Um, well, now I do have to rail. And. Let's just try dealing with this green infantry first. Okay, so with everything going on, I can get these two lower currently without too much trouble. And I think that's probably a good idea. They are out. Let's get them going. And get rid of this. So we'll have three for the next turn. Let's go down there, so I might attack those that unit. They'll be in supply, so that's not... Uh, no luck. Oh well. I'll get them on turn 9. Let's just go over to this side, especially with them. I'll be dealing with this on the next turn. They're doing pretty well. Of course, I have that actual pontoon bridge. While we're going down. All right, don't think. I can add anything here for this turn.
Hmm. Gives me a shtug. Okay. Not bad. It means that I will, though, only leave these guys because these are regulars anyway. And I'll start moving towards this lower area at this point. I'm doing a lot of attacks on three. But... I'm, uh... Sure, that's a good idea. Before they cut off this bridge, what I want to do is, is at least go there. If they go up and cut me off, so be it. But I don't want to get a situation where they destroy the bridge and I'm practically uh, helpless. Attacking from that side is no good. But attacking from here is. Now does it help me? Well, they are apparently not cut off. What I will do though is I will attack them in the hopes of getting some damage in. And I did. Because I need to get through here pretty quickly. This cavalry is annoying and they could technically go up, cut me off. But... I'm actually not too worried. Okay, well, currently I have one unit, these guys, which are cut off. And what I'll do is I'll actually put a three here so all my units are in supply with that and it's far enough that it's safe while I remove this one I don't need to hold it uh, but they will also not be in supply currently How's that supply going? How far can they go? They can't go further, so I'll keep them in there for supply now. Um, that would uh, at least hold that region as well. Yeah, I knew they would ultimately retreat. That's uh, that's not really a surprise. But that wasn't uh, the major problem. Interesting that it's uh, kind of like forcing me to 
go around, but uh, let's go. I have three more turns to take Theodosia, so I would say we're pretty pretty good here. You're on the rail hex, so you'll be fine. Simferopol is what's important. I don't really need to take this. I can quickly move in here. It's a shame you cannot actually take some Ferropol. I mean the cavalry. Ooh, that's super useful. Let's see what happens if I try to threaten Yalta from that side too. Getting close. So we get some Ferpol quite early. There's no way I can prevent them from getting these reinforcements. Like, uh, that would be insane if I could but uh, okay you'll have to wait for supplies that's fine you're on a real hex and besides that I'm just kind of moving off my units now that we're well underway it's uh I actually have quite a lot of them now. Let's see whether I can remove this. Yeah. Don't need any of those. Um, they will all be in supply, you might not. So let's do that. I'll move the HQ forward towards Sevastopol. I would like to use them once I actually get there, so that's why I'm moving them so much. Uh, my next most important objective in due time is Feodosia first. And I guess Yalta on turn 16 too, but we have plenty of time for Yalta. Seems like. Right. Well, there are no stragglers, so I'll move them back, and eventually I'll I'll take that. But that is not actually where we are at currently. So they have a cavalry in there pretty much means there is no reason for me to go in that direction. I might try to hold in that direction, but I have no business being down there at this point. Fidos, yes, supply by itself. Fair enough. This is, that's actually pretty funny. I'll uh, try to at least deal them a, a serious blow before they uh, can get back in supply. Mm. 
No, the 11th army is never going to be able to catch up. Ooh. I'll recover most of those steps, but I, I have time. There's still two additional turns after this. It's not as if I'm under extreme time pressure currently. If I get these guys in there, they'll probably give me a... Uh, a good attack in. really only get over that on the next turn. They, are, they already deployed this on turn 12. you down this way. I cannot build pontoon bridges at this moment. Well, I will take them down next turn and then kind of try to swing around. Let's get close and the closer I am to Sevastopol the easier or the faster I can use those uh, abilities when I do arrive. How are we on supply? Pretty good so far. Don't really need it for anything else at the moment. Could use one here since it matters quite little for now. Okay. Things are slowing down a bit. Not overly so, but... I'll just move my, uh, my more powerful units over in that direction. I don't need to take uh, this, but what I will do is go around. So whatever units are in there are now cut off from supply. That seems to be fair and they don't really get anything else there now at this point. I do need to get the courage relatively quickly as well from here. But I have a decent amount of units. It's not all bad. Interesting how those units would be retreating uh, back. I still cannot build pontoon bridges. I might just as well do this. Try to get in close. 
Let's block off this area through there. Get you here. Cut off this uh, Mama Chai regiment. Okay, so we have this area blocked off from Sevastopol. Let's move forward. I mean, I still think we're fast, but uh, apparently the, the next ones are turn 14. I don't know how powerful these are. V not too powerful. These are a bit better. And then they get another few bunch units here. was worth a try okay so this yeah let, let's get rid of these This one too, they unfortunately did not get the supply, but uh, now we're in decent enough shape that we can work with it like this. Continue to move them forward, inch by inch. Where can they deploy it? Up at Kirch. That's a naval brigade that they'll deploy at Kirch itself. <laughs> Up there, huh? I'm not surprised that they'd be having a unit at Yalta itself. Let's get that supply though. to make sure that no strange, strange things are going to happen. <clears throat> How are these supplies now? It's no good, but I'm going to deploy a, a new... Uh, Truck depot here might be a bit excessive. Doing these O and threes now is pretty, uh, pretty dangerous too. I'm really unhappy with this mod, though. But there is uh, nothing to be done about that, so... Let's 
Still no pontoon bridges. Ooh, they can get the, the Stug back. Count me in. Sure. All right, I guess that's it for now. The yeah, that rifle division has been away. Next turn they'll get again more reinforcements, but and there's not really anything that can be done against that. Let's just hope for good weather, just overall, because... It has not, uh, not been stellar. Supply for three turns. There's, there's nothing those guys can do. Okay, so things are getting a bit more serious there. Happy I was able to take it. On the march, rather. Now, uh, with this going on. Well, you can bet that I also want to put a unit in there. I don't necessarily need to attack them. Actually, interesting that it's only a 1-1. One, one. Odds. You're apparently also not getting a whole lot further. I can do those move in here and then I can go down from that that particular hex. So We're going to get more reinforcements. Again, the terrain here is abysmal, though, and uh, that's actually the uh, the biggest problem. Funny that ultimately I still again got into trouble with my supplies. So I'll have to move this further. No, let's leave it. Okay.
The uh, one good thing though is that I did capture Yalta already. That should help me allo allocate more forces towards Sevastopol. Let's start here. Obviously, that Judit was there. Not particularly surprised. So. Let's give them at Feodosia. You up here, and like I said, I'll, I'll put a new one. Probably. No, not yet. They're out of supply for two turns, but yeah. I just kind of don't really have a choice there. It's a bit uh, stupid to have to use that now, and I'm quite sure had I put everything to better use, it would not have been necessary. So you cannot attack, but I can put you in the center. And these guys through might just as well do this for a turn and get it back on in the next is there any attack possible in this direction no not really so the only one that I think is relatively useful is this to kill them soon enough. I think. Now these can cross, none of you guys can do anything. You're back in supply, moving down. This is only on the next turn. They're already full of units, I guess then. Must be uh, quite jammed for. Well, 
Okay, well, because it is, like I said, only putting these here. Also quite thankful for the uh, for the overruns there. This will have a good position to attack there on the next turn. Was a mountaineers. That's why they were so good. I was already wondering, like, why are they performing so well over there? Right. Well, look. If they are again not getting supplies, I, I could do that. Maybe that, that would be for the better. What you got? O oh, and two. Didn't you say so? Again, uh, the funny thing is I cannot move in there, but at least gone. I don't think any of these will deploy. Oh, there is one unit there. Well, I don't think we need to worry that much. And in order to get up there, I would have to allocate these. They might be able to make it. Uh, I don't have any cavalry there. Okay, well, let's just do this. And it will also allow me to just get rid of those. Mm. One of the... Oh, I really didn't want to attack, but I misclicked. Ugh. Under the current conditions, there is a chance of getting supply there. There is a chance. But unfortunately, I kind of need to, to break them there and well, that's not going to happen now, or at least not this turn. We're halfway into Sevastopol. I actually think that they would have a very hard time deploying any new units at this stage already. The uh, most important thing there is that I that they can now no longer deploy that naval brigade. Um, so uh, we uh, we got that covered, and so these guys are also going to be without any supplies or anything else. Going up there to grab that. Oh, 
Okay, so now they can actually push the, the supplies over the bridge. And that should help me a significant amount. taken Sevastopol. We have to hold it. But if we look at enemy supplies, they're, they're doing just fine. <laughs> uh, apparently. And the, the hexes where they can deploy their units are these. So they can actually get some on that, that one hex over there. Unless I still manage to dam them in. Which still seems to be possible. If they go down here, that does it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, well, now they can't get any reinforcements. And one tough hex to take is this Maxim Gorky hex, where they still have a substantial force. And so I have to deal with that. But I think. The rest of it is... No, I don't want you. Yes, do a set piece attack. I guess that's gonna be a... Uh... Three twenty five prestige. <laughs> Wonder what they will do, whether they will actually go down. It's unlikely. So now it's uh, mop up operations time. They're actually getting supplies from there too, it's unbelievable. Let's make sure those guys all get uh, onto the road. Or at least on the rail so that they'll get their supplies. And you'll take that on turn 19. Yeah, I was indeed afraid of that. They, uh, I'm not allowed to attack across major rivers unless I do something like that. But Let's see what we can do.
because it, it does mean I kind of need to get these guys back over here. Get them. There's nothing anymore that can take care of that. All right, that's this turn. Soviets are incapable of doing anything. Ah, man, really? Okay. Can you guys do not a whole lot? Um, at least I got one killed for them, so that's good. But besides that, uh, taking these fortresses, it's a bit unfair that even now they get their supplies through Throck from there, even though I took Sevastopol itself. It's not really an issue, but you know, it's only like crap more stragglers. That's kind of kind of the thing. Okay, you guys are in supply, pretty decent. Does moving affect anything? Just this, and that's fine. Last turns to charm. This hex is also a Maxim Horky hex, okay. Um, can I take those at least? Reason why I want those stragglers is it just gives me more points. Now the third Sevastopol fortress, Sevastopol fortress would be out of supply, and the only thing they still have left is this uh, Maxim Gorky Number One fortress. Which I'm sure I'd be able to take down in a turn or two, but uh, there's just no time for that. But they are neutralized and unimportant. 
All right. Uh, that, yeah, that's it. Sweet. And also gets us the final one, Preserve Infantry. So he took two losses. That's fine. Besides that, we got everything. Um, yeah, nice. Not much to say there. And yeah, I'll be wrapping this one up. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And we'll continue along with uh, the last few missions. There are either two or three. I'm not sure yet. We'll see that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.